Yeah, it now stands at 96 with more than 2,000 buildings destroyed. KCAL News anchor Rudabay Shabazi is live on the island with the very latest. And Rudabay, what are some of the main things emergency crews are focusing on this morning? Well, right now, there are still about a 1,000 people unaccounted for, and so that is the main concern, identifying victims, hoping to find anyone who might still be alive, any survivors there. That is the main concern right now. So they are taking dogs into the Lahaina area, into Ground Zero. They are also sending crews in on this recovery effort, but it is a, a very dangerous effort, as you can imagine. The damage is just so extensive there. And then, of course, there is the relief effort uh, for the people who are still surviving. All right, thousands of people, obviously, Ruta Bay were displaced from their homes. Hundreds are still missing, as you're talking about. How are people being reunited with your loved ones? And now that it's light out, can you talk about what's happening uh, behind you in this parking lot at the dock? Uh, what's happening behind me, so this is a dock. There are still some tourists and vacationers who come out. They still take uh, tr some charters out. So we've seen some of that. It's kind of an odd juxtaposition versus what's actually happening with all of the supply uh, and relief that's going out. That usually happens a little bit later in the day. But uh, when the sun starts coming out, people immediately start bringing relief items. They're bringing water. They're bringing baby food, gasoline, food, every kind of item you can imagine. They bring it here to the dock by the truckload. Uh, these organizations and, and efforts are started elsewhere, then they bring it to the dock. And then people, after some of the charter boats, even they take tourists out in the early morning and then they come back and do relief runs mm -hmm. to the west side of the island for the people who are totally cut off and, and need some sort of aid. Of course, the government is also working to do that, but people really are taking things into their own hands and helping out their fellow community members as well. And, and Ruta Bay, we know anytime there's a major disaster, it's so inspiring mm. to see how the community comes together to help. Can you talk a little bit about what you've seen as far as that? Right. Anything that anyone could want, there are people willing to do it, to take them into their homes, uh, to, to babysit their children, to work long hours at work. We talked initially when we first landed to some employees at the airport, and there were so many questions, and they were still in a state of shock, and they were missing loved ones, but still they didn't call out to work. They came in to try to get tourists out, to try to evacuate people and help anywhere they could. And I think that, you know, especially in this instance, you see that that can, can be a, a coping mechanism for people to help others in a time of need uh, and to really step up and, and be thrown into action. So they are taking in refugees, which is what they are basically at this point. The airlines have increased flights to try to get people out. They lowered the prices. The hotels have opened their doors and are filling, uh, filling up with evacuees as well as the, the big stadium. And there are several Red Cross shelters set up. And then all of the churches are taking donations and opening their doors for people as well. So there's a huge outpouring of support. And then everyone doing everything they can, donating what's left in their cupboards, coming in and volunteering, organizing food, taking food by boat uh, to the people who are isolated on the other side of the island. Well, we appreciate all your reporting, Ruta Bay. You're really giving us a, you know, a, a view that wouldn't be possible without it. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.